Today we're going to study what are known as bifiller coils rather than monofiller. We have two of them. One of them is wired in series for about a thousand turns. The other one is wired in anti-series, reverse, for about 800 turns. Now if you take the one wired in series, the wire goes in here all the way about 500 turns, goes to the center, comes back out to another wire and does that again. Then it goes out to a power supply here AC 100 to 200 volts isolation transformer and we can put AC power to it that way now we're going to turn it on you can hear it humming we put a magnet on this series coil it just jumps right off you can't do anything else with it so that's what it does it repels if you go to a little lower power you can see the magnet sort of jumps on it but that's all we can get now that's very well known. Let's see what happens when we have it wired in reverse. Next we're going to take a related bifiller coil and now we've wired it so that the current goes all the way into the center through this red wire and it comes back out here, reverses in the middle, comes back out in the opposite direction. So the first coil is about 500 turns clockwise, then it comes out 500 turns anticlockwise. Now when we put some power on this, you can hear it humming and now the magnet just sits there because the two magnetic fields, one clockwise and anti-clockwise, cancel. The magnet just sits on the top. The question is, can we find some evidence of this coil doing anything in terms of looking at how a magnet moves? I've discovered something new. Let's watch that next. Now an interesting effect, once again, we see with this bifiller coil, which is wrapped two ways, anti-clockwise and clockwise. If we put a small magnet to the outside, an AC power, it doesn't jump off, but it rotates like that. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Why does that happen? You see a little magnet placed around the outside of this coil will begin to rotate around the edges. This is a bifiller coil reverse wired. What happens with a reverse wired bifiller coil is if we put a permanent magnet near its edge and turn on some AC power, then the permanent magnet will slowly rotate like this. Very interesting, isn't it? What's happening here when we have a reverse bifiller coil with a magnet placed on edge that spins is a little complicated, but I think we can explain it in terms of normal physics. Here's the reverse bifiller coil. We're going to put on 240 volts AC, 50 hertz. Now this coil is flipping in a radial electric field. 50 times per second it's flipping from plus out minus inside to minus out plus inside. And when we put a permanent magnet over the outside, like we've done here, it spins. And the reason is, there's a current induced to the magnet going from minus to plus in one step. And then from minus to plus the other way in the second step. And But it's an NS magnetic field, a permanent field in each case. So in each case, the, that current moving through a magnet will make it curve, say, clockwise that way or that way. So in both steps, plus or minus, it'll curve in the same direction. Thus we get an induced current in this magnet from the AC magnetic field, and that's what makes it spin, as we just showed. A new effect in physics.